Hi everyone, and thanks for joining us. Today we're gonna to make cauliflower mash. It's like a mashed potatoes without the potatoes. So it's a really good recipe, and I know a lot of people make different variations of this. Um, this is just one I came up with that I thought was really good. Um, so I'm just gonna use a large head of cauliflower. And we're gonna rice this in the Vitamix. This is cool. Have you ever done that? This is really easy. Just throw all the pieces in the Vitamix. And I usually do about half at a time, otherwise it's too full. So I'm gonna do that, maybe even, this is a large head, so I might even do it in quarters. It just works better that way. And now you just put this on a really low speed, leave it on one and just like, kind of pulse it. And you don't want to turn this to mush. So that's perfect right there. And then transfer that to a bowl. That's like cauliflower, rice. You can also buy rice cauliflower now in the frozen sections of some stores. So if you wanted to buy it frozen, you could do that. You wanna make sure to get it all out because if you don't, the bottom will just turn to mush. And now we're gonna do this quarter. Cut it ahead of time, then you don't have to run the machine so long. one, I'm going to add the, in this last batch, I'm going to add the garlic. It get broken down too. And that pour out. And I talk about that in another video if you want to watch that. If you're not familiar with it, taking the core out of the garlic. Alright, let's throw that in there. Kind of let it go to the bottom. There we go. And you can smell that garlic. You know it's in there. Really strong. And if you leave a little in there, it doesn't matter. You're going to be sauteing this in a little oil on the stove to break it down a little. Now I'm going to use about half of this onion. Because you just want a small onion, not too much. But we want to cook the onion, saute it, because a lot of people have trouble with raw onion, digesting raw onion. It doesn't have to be finely chopped because you're going to be blending this in the Vitamix as soon as it's cooked. So just chunks of onion are fine. You just want to make sure it's broken down pretty well. Put that in with your cauliflower. You just want going to be blended also so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, put that in and now we're going to saute this on the stove. And it's really important that you stir this 
the whole time it's cooking because it will stick. And now you just transfer it back to the Vitamix. some sunflower seeds to this and some cashews, a little lemon juice and about half of a, a zucchini. You can leave the peel on but you don't if you do that you'll have green mashed potatoes and so you might want to peel your zucchini. in there and a little salt, pepper, and the little onion granules. And that's it. And now you whip this up. And that's your cauliflower mash. You love this as much as I do. It's really yummy. That's what it looks like. It looks like mashed potatoes. And you can eat it. Look at how hot this is. Right now, you can eat it right out of the container. You don't have to bake it or anything, but if you don't want to eat it right away, you can store it in the refrigerator overnight and then put it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes the next day or on the stove, however you want to reheat it. It's really delicious even the next day. So it's one of those things you can make ahead of time. For more videos like this one, be sure to check out our website and our social media channels and subscribe to our YouTube channel.